and welcome back to my channel. I am Hawkins Simmer, and today we're doing another speed build. Yay! Okay, so <clears throat> the thumbnail may look slightly familiar because I coincidentally built a dream home for my friend Jennifer a few videos ago. Honestly, I don't know what order everything is going in, but I know that that one's going up before this one. I just don't know how long before this one. But I did build her a dream home and basically I took that home that I built her and then made it a little bit more compact because this is part of a series where I am building all of my friends like a quote unquote dream home and then we're living together in a little you know, compound and a gated area for just me and my friends. And yeah, so that's part of this series. I will probably make a playlist. I've only done one before this, my friend Michael's house, but this is my friend Jennifer's house. It is different for sure, but it's the same Cape Cod kind of style and has the same general like facade, I guess. So I had already known based on the house I had done before because I'd gathered all of Jennifer's like wants and do not wants for that one that um, she wasn't really sure what kind of architecture style that she was going for, but she wanted at least an extra bedroom, maybe a space to do like crafts and puzzles and stuff and a decent kitchen. So this house is basically just a more compact version of the other one. The other one I ended up making ginormous. It had a billion bedrooms and a billion bathrooms and two living areas. And this one is much more compact. And honestly, like this is probably the better house for Jennifer, like given her like wants and do not wants. But yeah, I played around with the staircase a lot in this build. So I think I cut a lot of it out because it, it just, it was taking so, so long. It was so unnecessary. A new want that she wanted for this house that she did not mention the other time I did a house for her, there was that jump cut to do the stairs because like I said, it was, it was just too much. Something she wanted in this house that she did not say for her other house was a tree house. I've never built a tree house. But, you know, I mean, I've obviously, I've watched other people build tree houses. So how hard could it be, right? Um, I made it work. It's not a great first attempt. I think what had happened, I think honestly it was a pretty good first attempt. And then I think, uh, like, subsequently I had moved the tree. And now a huge branch of the tree is blocking the view from, you know, to the ocean so that's kind of rough and honestly I was too lazy to go back and fix it and I had already filmed all the footage anyway so like what's it really matter if you decide to download this house you can move the tree it's not in a prime location um, given that there's a giant window overlooking the sea and um, well you can't see it you know so uh, yeah right now the house is blue I do go ahead and change it to a cream color just so that it is a little bit different from the other house and it is, like floor plan wise, it is it is pretty different from the other house. It has some main staples that the other house has, but like it's it's generally a very different inside house. The the front of the house I think looks pretty similar, but you'll know. You'll know if you know. One of the first things Jennifer said she really wanted was to have those like cute kind of lockers that people have in the front of their homes or like in a mudroom situation so that people can like drop their stuff and then go into their home so I made sure to include one of those in this house I always use that one from laundry day it's so cute and like realistically it's kind of easy to slot stuff onto you just you know place it and then you move the whole locker situation and then you can move the item because it's locked to that height and then you can stack a whole bunch of stuff together um, I do that all the time with this item I really like it ideally like in my future home I would have something like that just because like you're like, I don't know, I don't have kids, but kids have a lot of crap. They just have, like, a lot of stuff, and I don't know, you don't want their stuff to be tracked all over your house, so I guess you have them drop it at the door. That's, like, the thought process. Do other people think this way? <laughs> like, I don't know. Jennifer also really wanted to have a big garage and, like, working space. Unfortunately, everyone in this neighborhood got a single car garage because the lots just, this is the biggest lot in the game and it didn't matter like to have five houses and a community space on it. There just wasn't enough room to have lots of garage stuff. So I tried to give everyone like some cabinets in their garage, but 
Everyone got a single car garage, and I think Nick is probably the most upset. But here I am doing the tree house. Like I said, I'm pretty, it's it's honestly pretty easy. Like I was kind of nervous, but it was pretty easy. You build a room, and then you build a room on top of that room, and then you just delete the lower room. And you can use the nine keys to like shift this room up and down without a foundation, and there it is. And then you just use the ladder to, you know, get up. And uh, I put posts down just because I felt like that was more realistic than not having anything and then you just place a tree and I like to place a debug tree because like it'll kind of go away as you zoom in and out and stuff so yeah I thought it was pretty simple like I said there was a sweet view <laughs> there isn't one anymore I think I messed something up but uh yeah so Jennifer's backyard was cute her like main thing is that tree house I didn't really put a whole lot else out there because it takes up a lot of room in her yard um, Jennifer has said in the past that she does want to get a dog eventually, so I put stuff down for a dog, and now she'll have a big, nice yard to play with her dog in. Also, you can kind of see that, like, I use these hedgerows to separate everyone's properties. This was honestly, it took a lot of setup to, like, get this done and, like, count your individual spaces. That's so annoying. That was something that was really nice in former Sims games. I can't remember two or three or if it was both. That when you would be building a wall or a fence, it would tell you, like, X by X amount of tiles essentially and we don't have that in the sims 4 if you can do quick math then you can probably figure it out because it tells you the price but beyond like four or five tiles girl i'm not the math ain't mathing for me okay so uh that's that's annoying but we got through i had to map it all out and count the individual tiles and make sure that everyone had the same amount plot twist they don't we don't all have the same amount. And I justified that because if I'm God in this situation, which I'd like to think that I am, you know, I feel like that's a fair thing to say as a Sims player. We all like to be God in our games. Oh, there we all are. We're so cute. Anyway, that I get like a one more tile in my lot because it wasn't going to divide easily by threes and a couple of people have tiny homes so like they don't need as much space because their house is smaller so you know some people my house and the community lot might have an extra tile it might be two tiles I don't really remember how many honestly now that we're talking about it but I know it's at least one <laughs> but I do end up taking a lot of those hedgerows out at least the ones that are on the streets I think I take all of them out on that main like road in between our houses just because like it was a little bit of a cleaner look to take that out so it I don't know it made more sense to me I guess and almost all of our houses have this flagstone pathways I know people are probably so tired of seeing those for me I put them in almost every build but honestly like I want something that flows nicely but none of our terrain paints really have the look of that without having to go in and like really fine detail those not that this isn't a long painstaking process because it is but I really enjoy doing it honestly I don't enjoy doing it I enjoy seeing it but yeah I kind of said in another video that my friends and I talked about this when we were young and we still talk about it now how great it would be to all live in a community together where we have our own homes but then we share like amenities and yeah, so I just, I wanted to see that come to life, so I'm doing it, I guess. I really love all of my friends and would love to be able to see them more often. We live across two states and four counties, and it takes about an hour for each of us to get anywhere. Like, I guess we're in a diamond shape. Two of my friends, Michael and Jennifer, so today's house and the last house, both live in our hometown, which is an hour from me and an hour from our friend Gwen and about 45 minutes from our friend Marissa. And then Marissa is about an hour from me and Gwen is about an hour from me. And then Michael and Jennifer an hour from me. And it's it all like we're all about an hour. Marissa is like the closest one to Gwen and then Michael and Jennifer. She's about 45 minutes from there and then like an hour for me, which I know that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense because how can she, if I'm an hour from Michael, then how is Marissa an hour from me if she's only 45 minutes from Michael? It's, I don't know. Honestly, I literally, <laughs> and now that I'm saying it out loud, I literally don't know. There's like, I'm sure there's a geography or geography geometry and geography I guess I don't know 
question about it. I don't know. It's too much. The math isn't mathing, like I said. Also, Jennifer really likes blue. Back to this bill, the thing that I do know a, a few things about. Jennifer really likes blue, so a lot of her house is blue. I went for this Cape Cod style, like I said. I just picture Jennifer's style just being, like, cozy. Like, still, like, cool colors, obviously, because blue, but, like, a cozy kind of simple vibe. Like, there's no like hard style, I guess, that I could like put Jennifer into. So I just thought that this like comfy style is kind of where she would be at. So I gave her a little laundry room and a half bath over there, which I think is great. That entryway is like the ideal entryway for me. You have your stairs to the second floor and your basement stairs, and then you have your laundry room and a bathroom. I hate, I have strong feelings about guest bathroom placement listen, listen, we all poop, right? We all poop. No one wants to poop where everyone can hear them pooping though. So like we need to just get on board with the fact that your guest bathroom needs to be far away from your entertaining space. If it's the living room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom needs to be away from that stuff so that we can all poop in peace. All right. We all just need some peace and no one wants to be sitting there at your gathering holding in their crap, holding in their toots because they're too afraid to use your bathroom that is right next to the living room. I have strong feelings, incredibly strong feelings. Do you guys feel this way? I feel this way. Also, I just have a general like, I think it is so disgusting when the bathroom is right off of your kitchen. Like fecal matter can like move when you flush your toilet, fecal matter matter like can fly, girl. And bleh. I have strong feelings. Your bathroom should not be off your kitchen. If if you're a Sims person, you're building your houses, do not put your Sims bathrooms off your kitchen. I understand that Sims don't have flying fecal matter, but it's the principle. It's the principle, okay? I can see the mic jumping every time I say principle, so I guess I should back up when I say it, but I have strong feelings. Okay. End rant. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Do not put your bathrooms off of your kitchens. All right, here we go. We're back into this build. All of our friends like to read, so I made sure that everyone has a few bookcases or bookshelves and big couches. I said that in Michael's video that everyone needs a big couch because you want your guests to have lots of space to sit. One of my biggest anxieties is that people are going to come over. I'm not going to have enough room for everyone to sit on my couch. That stresses me out. So everyone got a big giant couch because I want to make sure when I'm going to a friend's house, I'm going to sleep sleep on their couch. I mean, I might sleep on their couch, not in this scenario, because I just walk to my home. But you know, I want to be able to sit comfortably on their couch and not feel awkward. So yeah, Jennifer's general layout is open concept for sure. And her other house, it kind of was too, but her like den or like TV room was in the back kind of off to itself. Personally, that's how I would prefer it. I like the idea of like being able to watch TV and not have like the sound from the kitchen or dining room or whatever like flooding in and and vice versa like I think I know open concept is like really trendy right now and that's what everyone wants right now but to me I feel like semi-open concept is more where I'm living I'm sure I've said this before in other videos I just feel like there's too much noise from multiple things. People can't do things while someone else is doing a thing. And that stresses me out. Also, I don't want like food smells to like linger on your couch. Am I weird? I mean, I know that I am, but like, I'm not like other girls. But like, is that strange? Do other people have these like intrusive thoughts? These, these crazy anxieties? Because... <laughs> I do, girl. They, like, rule my world, truly. But you just saw me do Jennifer's bathroom. That was something she desperately wanted. She wanted a big walk-in shower, so I gave her that. We deliver, okay? Um, and then there's a guest bathroom upstairs and then two more rooms and a super cute landing. Like I said, honestly, this is the version of Jennifer's dream home that I probably should have given her. It was more along the size that she was thinking, I guess. But the other one, like, ugh, oh, it just... Ugh, it went it just it just went and it was large this is like her dream home 
this is like what Jennifer wants, but the other house is what Jennifer deserves. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so dumb. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. This is only my second voiceover, but you would think that like the way my brain is working, that it was like the 10th, but it is not. Speaking of that, yeah, it's my second voiceover from today. Most of my voiceovers I did a couple weeks ago. It was like early December and now it is December 30th. I'm off work all this week and I'm trying so hard to like not feel pressured to get stuff done but also like I have the time I want to get stuff done so I don't know I'm kind of beating myself up no matter how I go about it like I'm upset at myself for not getting anything done but I'm also upset that like I'm putting pressure on myself to do stuff so you know that's kind of a um what do they call those like a self-fulfilling prophecy like I'm kind of setting myself up for failure wow who is she no just kidding I do that to myself all the time and then I'll just be upset that like I didn't get enough done but also I didn't rest enough so there's no winning for for me and everything is always about winning for me so that's unfortunate for me but anyway we're moving on I don't know why I decided to do the basement before I did rooms upstairs maybe I was just trying to map it out and see how it went but um, her basement is pretty similar to the other basement that I made for her. It's a living area, and then I had a few gaming things. Jennifer knows she wants at least one child in the future, so I thought along with the Don't Break the Llama game, I would have that little game table for children, and then, yeah, a little living area. So I also thought that Jennifer's going to need a computer, because your sims just need a computer. Like, Jennifer lays in bed and plays on her laptop, but like, in the sims you can't do that so i needed a place to give her a computer so there's a guest bedroom with a computer down here and then another full bathroom and a storage room jennifer wants a lot of storage so she can organize all of her things and i love that for her so all in all that makes this house three and a half bathrooms and Technically, you could have five bedrooms, but again, one is being used as a craft room. There's a the main bedroom and then a kid's room and then downstairs there's a guest bedroom and then a room for storage. But like you could turn these rooms into whatever you wanted to turn them into. I always think that's kind of confusing when people list what it is. I don't know, like in, in a listing on like Zillow, if there's an office in one of the rooms, like that's still a bedroom, like they're counting that as a bedroom usually like it doesn't matter what it's currently set up as if it could be a bedroom then you say it's a bedroom but also there are weird laws about like a room isn't considered a bedroom if it doesn't have a closet and a window or one or the other like I think it depends on what state you're in but in the state that I live in it has to have a closet it has to have a window for sure and I I'm pretty sure it has to has a have a closet and now I can't really remember we had looked at a house way back when. I, I built it on this channel. I might link it up above if I remember. Um, where the basement sat on a hillside. So like half of the basement was above ground. Like it had windows. And like realistically we could have put up a few walls. And made it like a five bedroom home instead of a three bedroom home. That house needed a lot of work though. Like our current house needs work. But it's more attainable work and less... <laughs> tearing it back to the studs like we did in our previous fixer upper i might link that up above too if i remember we built we bought a home nick bought a home before we were married and he and his dad renovated it like took it was one of those things where his dad was like this isn't gonna take long and then took it back to the studs and uh three years later it was finally almost finished um this house is not like that but but it's going to need some work. But anyway, back to Jennifer's build. So we're working on the bedrooms upstairs. So I made this kid's room. I said this in Jennifer's other build, but I just think that truly this is such a like a touching thing. Um, Jennifer and her dad built a loft bed for Jennifer that she still sleeps in. She loves her loft bed and it's like, I have so much room for activities. And I, I don't know, she loves her loft bed and it is a nice bed. So she has a loft bed and I just thought that someday like Jennifer and her kid might make another bed to go underneath it so two kids could sleep in a room or, you know, if they had a friend over or something. So I think that Jennifer, I think Jennifer's mom wants to keep the bed, but I think Jennifer should keep the bed and take it with her someday to have. Um, her dad did very sadly pass away this year. Um, so I think even more that bed probably means a lot to Jennifer and, oh, I'm going to get choked up, bro. Okay. We're pulling it back in. But anyway, just send all the love to Jennifer and her family 
it's been a rough year and they deserve all of the well wishes. But all right, we're pulling it together. We're moving right along to the main bedroom. So Jennifer's room, they all tend, here's the thing, main bedrooms are plain. They just are. So it's blue and beige and I gave her a pink chair. And I don't know, I think it turned out to be pretty cute, as cute as a main bedroom can be in this game. But the screenshots are coming up, so thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, this is a part two of a probably like seven part series where I build a compound for my friends and I to live in someday. So please stay tuned if you're interested in that. I will try to get all of these on the gallery separately. Um, but yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday at around 4 p.m. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you all are well. Bye.